It's a great pleasure to follow so many excellent speeches and some particularly enlightening ones as well. Um, and also I'd like to thank the uh, members for Havant and Ho for bringing this, uh, this debate to, uh, to the House today. Um, there's been a little bit of debate about where the initial first industrial revolution originated. So I thought perhaps I might take the opportunity to talk briefly about my constituency and why I consider that that is the birthplace of the first industrial revolution. Never one to miss an opportunity to talk about tell. fact, in Colebrookdale, in my constituency, where the father of the first industrial re revolution, the Iron Ma Revolution, the Ironmaster Abraham Darby, developed the first blast furnace in 1709, using coke as his fuel, and it is still there today forming a key part of the Ironbridge Gorge Industrial Heritage, Industrial Heritage Museum. This was a major innovation, securing a transition to a new manufacturing process, enabling production of iron by means we would today call smart manufacturing. And of course, iron was the raw material on which the first Industrial Revolution was built. Other revolutionary innovators, such as Thomas Telford, a civil engineer and architect of the local canals, bridges and railways and churches, followed in the Ironmaster's footsteps. And today, Telford is a symbol of innovation and change, of energy and optimism, and is once again undergoing a revolution, once again leading the way with cutting-edge technology and advanced manufacturing. Today we have Enterprise Telford. It's an innovative, initiative which is successfully securing inward investment to a corridor of advanced technology and smart manufacturing processes. At the heart of Enterprise Telford is T54. It's a flagship site situated on the M54 just 12 miles from Jaguar Land Rover in the West Midlands. This site is successfully securing inward international investment. The Canadian-owned giant Magna Cosma very recently confirmed it would be investing in high-tech car parts plant, creating 300 new jobs. And the Swedish-owned Filtermist opened its brand new Global HQ on the same site recently. Now, the value of the fourth industrial revolution to Telford's economy cannot be overstated. It's bringing high-skilled jobs, renewed optimism, record levels of employment, and all to an area that has never had it easy. The last blast furnaces blew out in the 1960s. The last of the mines were closed in the 1970s. And then Telford was hit hard by the recession in the 80s and 90s and became an unemployment black spot. And once again, it suffered in the recession of 2008-9. Telford has a proven ability to adapt, innovate, and evolve. The Telford spirit, first shown by the Ironmasters, is ensuring that Telford continues to overcome obstacles, find solutions to problems, and never give up. Once again, Telford is leading the way. And while I'm on my feet, I would like to pay tribute to the very excellent work of council officers at Telford and Rican Council and to the work of the March's Local Enterprise Partnership, who have worked so very hard to make this possible. They are currently in the process of submitting a very fine growth fund bid to DCLG and to, to further improve Telford's ability to take advantage of the fourth industrial revolution through the Enterprise Telford initiative. Now, my right of honourable friend, the member for Bromsgrove, who visited Telford on many occasions when he was Secretary of State for Business Innovation and Skills, has always paid tribute to Telford's success and potential for growth in taking advantage of the new economy. And he also very kindly told this House in June that he will work with me in every way to secure Telford's bright future. I mention this now, as in his new role at DCLG, he will be considering the bids for growth fund money, and I will be reminding him of the fantastic work being done in Telford, and particularly the merits of the Enterprise Telford bid. Madam Deputy Speaker, revolution is all about new opportunity, the opportunity to press a reset button and start all over again. In any revolution, as the Honourable Member for Ellesmere Port and Neston eloquently said, there will be winners and losers. But in the fourth industrial revolution, as with the first, Telford is a winner. <laughs>